Mac, for the Virgos, um, I want to say thank you for being here for the extended of this reading. You can find it on my website. Please connect with the website, become a member, and you can pick up the extended of this reading because there is an extended. Virgos, oh my God, Virgos, the warrior woman, have you answered your deepest call? Oh, Virgos, have you answered your deepest call? Because there's a call in for you, Virgos. Okay, the warrior woman is here. And whether you're a man or a woman, you're going to be taking up the energy of this warrior woman because this is what you're going to be dealing with, with this healing, you Virgos. Okay, so this 0202-2020 reading is that you're going to be taking on the energy of the warrior woman. And what they're asking is that, have you answered your deepest calling? That is the question for you guys, okay? What is um, preventing you from that answer? Play, have fun, celebrate. Don't be so serious. Play, have fun, celebrate. Don't be so serious. Now, the problem why you have not answered a call is that some of you are too playful. Some of you, you need to get down um, to serious business, to heal yourself, but yet still heal your family and yourself. So this is what is um, bothering and, and preventing you from moving forward is that you're having too much fun in your life. And this is going to affect you in the month of April, May, and June. What is uh, um, over you? I see some of you are going to be taking a leap of faith. And you, you go first and then the universe is going to help you. So I see a lot of you are thinking about taking a leap of faith. And as you go first, the universe is going to have your back and the universe is really going to be helping you. Whatever leap of faith you take, the universe is definitely going to be having your back and is going to be moving you forward. What is it that you need to release? You need to trust in your part. Okay, some of you have a divine part. Some of you are on your divine part, but you're not trusting. And it is saying, if you know you would be supported, would you do it? So some of you want to really connect and balance out the spiritual and material world, but you are afraid and you're saying, let go of this. This is what you need to let go. Let go and have faith and take that leap of faith. Because if you take that leap of faith, the universal is going to be helping you. So just let go, let go and take the leap of faith because they're going to be helping you. And here we have Imara and it says, where are you being called to journey to? Where are you being called to journey to? Now, um, what people are not aware is that you can journey to places via your dream time. So this um, spiritual healing is that a lot of you Virgos are going to be um, um, you know, traveling to wherever you are journeyed to. And this time is that you're going to be having help because as you journey to these places that you need to go, where are you being called to journey to? And these are questions that you need to answer for yourself because some of you are called to journey to some place. Where is this place? Where is this and what it is? Have you answered your call to your divine purpose? This is one of the things that is going to be coming out because I see that some of you are going to be using the swords of truth to find out where it is you need to move, um, in what direction. In the month of July, August, and September, you are ready. Do it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing true north okay so the month of july august and september you're ready to do whatever it is that you choose to do because you have all the tools within your end and they're saying you take that leap of faith and we are going to be supporting you on your journeys okay so you are ready to do whatever is you know your soul is calling you and urging you for because this is really a soul healing reading October, November, and December, I see the Keeper of the Hearts. So Virgos, I would expect that this is coming up for you, Virgos. The Keepers of the Heart is here, and this is wonderful and positive, because what is transpiring with the Keepers of the Heart is that they are coming in, and they are basically aligning you. They are aligning you with the right energies. They are here. The Keepers of the Heart um, is letting you know that you're not alone, Virgos. 
Virgos, you are not alone. Your ascendance family, your light being family is here. The ascension family is here. And they're going to be helping you to basically move you forward. Okay? So we're going to be looking at all these three months with these healing energies. Um, these uh, for, um, months from um, now until... Um, um, December to see what is happening and what is transpiring and to know what is transpiring in the lives of the Virgos. So let's see what is coming up. Ooh, okay. All right, Virgos. I don't know. My guides are here. All right, Virgos. Um, okay. The warrior woman energy. What came up is the king of cups, but the king of cups comes up in the, the reverse. So uh, you Virgos are dealing with a situation where the, the, the warrior woman is here and they said, have you answered your deepest call? Some of you, um, there is a Pisces Cancer Scorpion. This is the answer to your deepest call. How does this person affect you? This is about love. Have you answered your deepest call about love? Who is this person? Is this a father figure? Is this um, a husband, an ex-husband, a partner? Is this your deepest call? That is going to be the question for you. Who is this person and how are they coming up? For a personalized reading, you can always order, but the extended reading is under this reading. As we look at April, May, we have play. And the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. And this is it. You have been playing, so you're not bringing in um, the fortune that the universe is bringing in. This Wheel of Fortune is going to be bringing you out of the playful side um, uh, into positive alignment of energy. So what this is saying for the month of April, May, and June, the playing is going to be over. The fun is going to be over. And you're going to be starting to suckle down and understand the direction that you need to go in, okay? Then we have the tower moment. Um, because you already know what to do. Whatever is transpiring, I see a tower moment because some of you do not want to make that step, do not want to make that chance. And the tower moment is here because you need to make that decision. And this tower moment is going to be coming up in the month of July, August, and September. As we look at December, um, October, November, December, I see that you are going to be connecting with a soul family, the keeper of the heart, okay? An ascension, an ascendance family, and accessories are going to be coming in and connecting with you, Virgos. Someone you have known from a past life, this love is coming in. So a lot of you, Virgos, are going to be meeting someone who is either your spirit guide or is someone that has been protecting you on your journey. Because some of you who were asking about love, they're letting you know that you're not alone and you're going to be meeting your partner in the month of um, October, November, and December. So if you were looking for a partner in the month of October, November, and December, this person is definitely going to be coming in. So this is a wonderful, wonderful reading. However, this reading comes up and it affects your life. It's a very positive reading because it is healing your soul and things that you didn't want to confront yourself with. After hearing this reading, you're going to be understanding and I see the shift of energy that is going to be coming up for you, Virgos. So this is really wonderful because I see that some of you are, are having some heartbreaks at this time, but you're going to be learning to heal these heartbreaks, okay? So Virgos, um, I see that you're going to be dealing with healing methods, that sort of a thing. I see serving of others, the details. I see do what you must, okay? So whatever is transpiring, all right? I see the energy of the houses is coming up and you have the 11th house. Now the 11th house is the house of groups, um, that you're going to be connecting uh, to groups. It's about connecting with groups. It's about connecting. It's about the freedom. Methods for the healing power is coming up. The planetary asset access is Saturn. So this is about discipline, you Virgos. So I see things are going to be changing, okay? So I see the anal analyzation of association, cautious in, take cautious, take cautious, 
with groups and connection with group connection okay your circle of friends uh, limit impulsive okay with your friends so saturn is coming to clear up uh, group situation organization people situation group situation organization it is coming up uh, to clear up and clear these energies however this is happening okay then we see service of others for humanity's sake this is coming up so a lot of you are going to be servicing other for your energy safe and you're going to be realistic about this okay details of your hopes and wishes is just definitely going to be coming true okay be concerned about what it is that you want because i see a shaking up of saturn coming in for um you virgos then i see do what you must okay so whatever is transpiring do it for the future and you must wait before you can make other decisions so move forward go forward know that this is going to be um moving your life in a positive way however way it is coming up for you virgos is that way that it's going to be helping you to heal your soul and to move you in a positive alignment of energy so a lot of astral travel is going to be happening for you virgos I see the vitality of energy is going to be coming up. I see information is going to be up, coming up and I see dream time. Okay. And soul journey, dream time and soul journey. So this is wonderful. It's going to be a wonderful time um, for you guys, especially in the healing because you're going to be healing your soul, but you're also going to be healing past situation via the um, astral travel time. And this is going to be good. Then we see the energy of worthiness, okay? Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. So some of you were not worthy and didn't know your value. And they're coming up and they're saying, you are worthy to receive the positive alignment of energies and messages that is going to be coming in, that is going to be affecting you in a very, very positive way. So worthiness is that some of you are going to be learning that you are worthy you're worthy for whatever it is you're worthy for the good that is coming in your life and this is going to be good a message from the source and the spirit world is saying i am so much better now i am so much better now so whatever that and whoever out there was um thinking about someone who has passed away they are letting you know that they're so much better now and they are going to be okay so whatever the issue and the situation is is that they're going to be okay and they're so much better now so this is going to be very very positive wow virgos it is really um a positive healing that is coming up for you however this healing is happening for you i see you're going to be realizing that you are worthy of certain issues and situation the 11th house is the house of where you're dealing with people groups and corporation and what is transpiring is that uh, these people you have to make the right decision okay make it for the sake of humanity so however these people and situation is affecting you but some of you virgos play time is over okay and some of you are going to you need to you need you're asking yourself what is this that i need to do but you need to find out and you need to do the right thing okay i see that love is going to be coming in so for some of the people who have given up on love love is going to be coming in i see that some of you are going to say take a leap on fate take a leap however this is coming up um if you are in a relationship or you have been seeing a pisces cancer or a scorpion they are saying to you take the leap of fate okay so however that is affecting you in your life um this is going to be helping you to move you forward so i see love is going to be coming in i see some of you are going to be moving out of a negative um a playful period and getting serious serious in your life serious in a work and this is going to be very very positive for you so virgos thank you for being here namaste until next time